Eden Genesis review, my fair review. From the creators of Aeterna Noctis and Samum Aeterna comes the third game in a line that's not connected to Aeterna World this time. Eden Genesis, cyberpunk speedrunner's dream platformer. You can think of this game like Super Meat Boy, only far, far better looking Super Meat Boy. Let's rate it properly as it deserves. <laughs> First section is the story. We got female protagonist in a cyberpunk world, she's infected with disease and in order to cure herself she needs to eliminate the so-called SND from her brain. Yes, you played inside her brain. She's under the treatment from the AI and all NPCs you'll encounter in the game will be AI as well. Writing is a bit more serious than in the Eterna games this time. Acting is ground solid, story is actually one big puzzle that will evolve along the way as you fight with your brain cells. Good idea, great atmosphere. 8 out of 10 for the story. Game bugs and optimization. Polished to the extreme, not a single bug, crash or glitch in a brand new game. It's optimized to perfection. Extremely smooth game. Pure 10 out of 10. Next section is game time. This depends out of you, over 10 hours of main story and you can replay every level. Speedrun value is huge, leaderboard is there so you can compete with other players. To master this game you will easily need over 100 hours, 9 out of 10 for the game time. Next section would be game difficulty. Everyone can finish this game but if finish all maps with S plus score that's another topic. This is one very hard game if you chase perfection. Controls are tight and smooth but you will fail a lot, that's a guarantee. Once you finish the map you will have that sense of accomplishment and that's the great thing in return. Now how hard is it? In my point of view it's harder than Super Meat Boy for example. 10 out of 10 for the game difficulty. Next section would be maps and graphics. Gorgeous 2D platformer, absolutely amazing. Every single segment of this game is handcrafted. Backgrounds, animations, art, everything is top notch. This is one of the better looking 2D games in general, not only in its genre. Map, user interface, everything is there and it looks great. Map variety is huge as well. You will never get lost. Pure 10 out of 10. Next section and the most important one would be gameplay. So as I said this is a modern Super Meat Boy or Super Meat Boy on steroids or a good looking Super Meat Boy, whatever you like to call it. Eden Genesis is a 2D speedrunner action platformer and a very good one at that. You listen to some story, run 34 maps, dash, triple jump, hang on walls, run upside down, smack robots, then listen to some more story, discover a bunch of secrets and some hacking sequences as well. Fast paced game for those that enjoy gameplay oriented games this is the one. My only and main problem is after two hours of playing hands get tired out of gamepad and you need to rest and then play again. This is not a game that you can play for like four eight hours in a row okay it requires full focus and clarity if you wanna relax look for something else because this game is a complete opposite of that for many it could be rage inducing as well bottom line is gameplay is fast fluid and immersive for what Eden Genesis wants to be it's a full success 9 out of 10 for the gameplay next section would be leveling and itemization no XP gain no leveling nothing at all not even a health bar you get all of your tricks from the very start so the only real progress are levels how they drastically increase in difficulty bigger and bigger challenge is what this game is all about now yeah there are collectibles and a bunch of achievements but all of that only serves the story while it has zero impact on the actual gameplay what you collect during missions are snd nodes and ammo for your laser attack Retro style here. All that you do is connected on your high score for each map and the famous leaderboards where you can compete with others. 
5 out of 10 for leveling and itemization. Next section would be NPCs and enemies. Bunch of NPCs in a game, including those that suffer from the same disease as you do. Of course, AI is dominant in the world of Eden Genesis. Enemy variety is solid, not as big as in previous Aeterna games, but truth to be told, main enemy in this game are not the actual enemies, it's platforms, traps and time itself. Time is the big boss of the game and time is your main enemy. You'll be chasing with time from start to finish. All enemies in the game are robots by the way, so as I said, solid variety. Everything revolves around the overall atmosphere and the main protagonist here. 6 out of 10 for NPCs and enemies. Last section would be music and sound. Amazing, relaxing music, piano dominant themes like in previous Eterna games. Of course, this is a cyberpunk platformer, so you can also expect a lot of techno psychedelic themes. Voice acting is great and every single line of text and all NPCs are fully voice acted. Sound effects are a big factor in speedrunning and they were done great as well. 9 out of 10 for music and sound. Final verdict. We got 9 sections with 76 points and that would be exactly 8.4 out of 10 for Eden Genesis. Again, for those that enjoy fast-paced platformers and competition on leaderboards, Eden Genesis is probably pure 10 out of 10. There is nothing more you could ask from precision speedrunning platforms. Former. I'm rating the game as a variety player and for me Eden Genesis was absolutely great and refreshing experience. I can see myself going for S plus scores on every single map in the recent future. In the meantime, is the game worth buying, playing? Yes, it is, you should give it a shot especially since nothing good came out in the entire 2024. Indie games deserve your full attention, so you can also consider starting with Eden, maybe. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching.